Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. Episode number 921 and I'll talk a little bit about next year because 2020 is just around the corner. Yeah, I know, new decade, all that stuff. But here's my question to you. With love in the new year, are you planning to do more of the same? Or are you looking to do something better and different? Before you answer, consider what I'm asking and I'll tell you more about myself and then explain more so you actually know which way you want to play with this in a moment. Um, so hi, my, <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. That was a dramatic intro, apparently. Yeah, not so good, I know. My name is Barry Selby. I'm an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. A book for singles and couples, for men and women, a highly recommended book because it does change your life for the better. That's kind of my focus. Um, I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is why I help women create balance in love, life, and business. I should say I help women navigate balance in love, life, and business. It's probably a better way of putting it. And also inspired these talks literally three years ago today. I just found in today's memories, number one show up. So if you look on my wall, on Facebook that is, um, earlier today, you'll see a, a repost or a replay from my first number one Facebook Live I ever did three years ago. So today's the anniversary, yippee. <laughs> but today we're at episode number 921, a little bit later, I've been doing this for three years now. And the topic today we're gonna to talk about is loving the new year. Meaning, what is your focus around love in the new year? If you are having an amazing time with love and you have been married for, happily for many years or if you're single and happily joined single, then there may be no change required for you next year. But for a lot of people I know, they're like, New Year's resolutions, let's start early. Let's get a plan going to change our paradigm for the new year because this past year sucked. You may be one of them. So I'm gonna to speak to that point of view in case you're dealing with this regret from this past year or looking back at the last year thinking, oh God, that wasn't a good year. Or better yet, perhaps, you escaped from something that was sucking this past year and you're not sure where to go next. Because for some people, this year has been a, w a year of letting go, or should say, um, escaping past paradigms. I'm gonna make it polite. I was gonna, I was gonna go down in that one. I'm, no, keep it polite. So if you've been going through the, this past year, either regretting what you're in and not, get, not getting where you wanna go, or you've spent the year or some of the year free from being in something you didn't work for you and you're not sure where to go next, this is for you. Um, and again, there's tips in here for everybody. So in case you are someone who's got a great relationship and loving where you are, this may actually be additive to you. And then the third, fourth option <laughs> is you're happily single and maybe thinking about changing that status in the new year. So for all of the above, listen up. This might be for you. So as I mentioned, I am, <laughs> I am a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I'm a relationship coach and all this other stuff. But above all else, I'm focusing on helping people live life more fully, more effectively, and more lovingly, loving, yeah, lovingly than ever before. And so if you're in one of the above, um, if you checked one of the above boxes, <laughs> let's try and make it official, this may help you. One of the biggest, um, I'll say this one, right, let's start, let's start simple. There's a quote that's been thrown around a lot that's apparently attributed to Albert Einstein, it may or may not be attributed to him, it's basically, if you do the same thing again and again, expecting a different result, you're basically committing insanity. So if you haven't done anything different for the last few years in dating experiences and you're not getting what you want, that's a hint that maybe, just maybe, you wanna do something different. I'll give you some opportunities at the end of the broadcast of what things you can do differently, by the way. That's gonna be a little self-promotion and a call to action just to be clear, so I'm not gonna hide anything from you, be transparent. Oh, and secondly, this is a Facebook Live in case you don't know that you're watching it on YouTube perhaps. This is a talk I do every day, and I'll be telling you at the back end where you can find me live and where you can find the replays. Okay, let's dive in. So I'll just give so much prep to this. So if you've been watching my broadcast, if you haven't, I'll catch you up. I talk a lot about how to have healthy relationships, specifically with yourself and then with other people. That's one of the secrets, by the way. The more you improve the relationship with yourself, the better the ones where everybody else is. That's why I focus so much on self-love, self-support, because that's where it all starts, in case you didn't figure that out already. So first of all, if you've been wired, programmed, taught that it's out there, not in here, this may shock you. That the fact it is really about love starting from in here, not out there. All relationships, all relationships start with you. That was like, <laughs> somebody out there's going, what was that about? So let me say it another way. Every relationship you're in has one thing in common, you. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You're the common denominator is what I'm trying to say here. So if your relationships aren't going the way you want, there's one thing you can do to fix it, which is to work on yourself first. 
it really is about starting within and turning into the mirror and seeing yourself and seeing yourself clearly where maybe you're making mistakes and maybe you do things better. So this is a reminder, this is an encouragement, this is a, an opportunity to really discover what lines up for you and what works for you. So I'm just listening to something, something outside the window yelling away and I'm just saying, taking focus on what I'm talking about here. All right, let me bring it back. Because this is for you, not for them. <laughs> Maybe you can talk to them because they sound like they need some help. <laughs> all right, let's get back on track. So all relationships start with you. All frustrations you have about relationships start with you as well. Which means if you're not getting what you want, it's going to sound silly, it's going to sound simplistic, but you've got to look in the mirror. That's the journey I've been on for many years myself, discovering where I was doing things not so well and why I kept repeating the same thing. And this is, by the way, one of the clues. If you're repeating the same thing again and again and you're noticing it's not changing, then the focus needs to be on yourself. It doesn't matter who you date because that's not going to change the situation until you change yourself. It does start within. So my first recommendation is really start looking into your own personal paradigm and start changing your relationship with yourself going to 2020 so you can change every relationship around you. That's the most highly leveraged position you can be in. Secondly, if you're caught up in a paradigm where you're always looking for love outside yourself, you may find yourself basically being caught up in a paradigm of, um, how do I put this? Oh yes, <laughs> codependency. <laughs> I've said that so many times before, I just blanked on it for a second. The opportunity you have to find what you're doing um, ineffectively is the door opener to transform every relationship around you. So first of all, focus on yourself, as I mentioned. Secondly, if you're looking for love out there all the time, you might find yourself getting it some of the time and not getting it other parts of the time. How about making it a sure thing for 2020? When you love first here, I know I'm coming to the same thing again and again, because it's the truth. Every relationship starts inside, so so does the love. You want to love somebody out there? Start loving yourself first. If you want to get love from somebody out there, start loving yourself first. This is the, sh this is the cliff notes of the last 900 teachings I've given. So just so you know, you're getting the, 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 the distilled, um, concentrated teaching here, <laughs> in a way. Now, how you get there, that's a much bigger topic, which I won't be able to cover here, but I'll give you some hints on what you can do differently. So first of all, focus on the mirror to really focus on what you're about and what's important to you in relationship and what you want to have yourself in relationship. Because everything you want in a relationship, most of it you can do yourself without anybody else around. Some of it does require a partnership, just to be clear about that. But a large part of it, a large proportion, especially on the emotional side, starts inside. And by loving yourself first, you don't put yourself in a place of dependence on somebody else providing the love for you as well. That's two major shifts. If you, do these two, if you just do those two things in the new year, you will transform every single relationship you have. Yes, every single one. Family, business, romantic, all of those will change if you change those two things. Change the, prior, change the relationship you have with yourself and love yourself more. Those two things alone will transform everything. I'll give you links at the back end you can check out as well. But the thing is I want to say is, is that you may not realize this yet. You may not realize you have that much power because for many of us, we weren't trained that we're powerful people. The thing is when you start discovering that you have the ability to change every relationship around you by starting inside, that's immense power. Do you not, uh, if you don't get it, I mean, sit with that for a moment. If I change the relationship with myself, everyone around me changes too. That's a reality maybe you haven't considered before. So your relationship with yourself is pivotal to every relationship out there. Your understanding of your relationship with others is a way of looking back at yourself in the mirror, meaning the other way around. When you look at your relationships around, if you look at the relationships around you and they're not all working out the way you want, start looking in the mirror and see where maybe the one with yourself is a little bit kinked up or dysfunctional or um, fractured, perhaps, another way of putting it. Because when you start changing that paradigm, you shift the paradigm inside yourself, everything out there changes. I know for myself where I've done the, where I've resolved something inside my own paradigm. I do a lot of this work myself because you know, best, the best training grounds in here. If I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna help myself first. See, the same thing applies. Every relationship out there starts the one inside. That includes me, includes you, includes everybody. When we all clean up our own front yard, all the front yards get cleaned up. So start with working on yourself. So for myself, and just as an, um, um, Example, that's word, an example, such a difficult word. Understanding that relationships start from, start from within has taught me many times that when I'm having um, disagreements, let's put it in line, <laughs> let's be polite, disagreements, yes, like little disagreements with other people, 90% of the time, I go see what's going on inside of me. When I look at what's reflected, what's projecting, what's happening inside of me, 
and I change something inside of me, it's amazing how everyone out there changes as well. I, I didn't talk to them, nobody else spoke to them. It was like somebody was like, okay, well, he's busy with that, we'll go talk to them for him. It's like, no, I changed the paradigm inside myself. And by changing that relationship inside of me, everyone around me changed as well. That's the power of this work. And so if you're not already understanding that you have the power to change every single relationship around you by starting with one inside yourself, you're missing the boat. And I don't want you missing the boat. So my intention with this little reminder, this little nudge, is to start 2020 the right way around love and relationships. Love yourself first, focus on the relationship within yourself so that every relationship around you can be transformed and uplifted and you'll be in a place of freedom, of joy and allowance of all relationships and you'll be able to find love if you haven't had love before, starting within you to attract the love outside of you. Let me say that again, that was a bit convoluted. When you focus on the love inside yourself first, when you go looking for that relationship partner out there, they don't have to provide all the love you think you need because you're already filling up yourself first. You become a much more generous lover for yourself, much more generous lover for your partner who will be happy about that. And ideally, they'll be a much more generous lover with you as well. It's additive. Because when you're loving yourself first, you'll ideally find people who will love themselves first too because then it becomes much more abundant, the love, the joy, and the overflow. So my um, encouragement and invitation is to look at how you can love yourself first and how you can retake care of yourself first to be a better partner, a better relationship with yourself to change more the ones out there too. Whew, that was a bit of a rant. <laughs> um, I mentioned at the beginning there's going to be a couple of links. So because these are two primary focuses of mine, I'll give you two links you can check out or I invite you to click on and check. One is my self-love meditation. I've talked about it many times. And again, if you're starting 2020 looking for love, start with the one inside of you and my self-love meditation will help you with that. Start now. By the January, what's that month from now? January 9th, you'll be much more open to love, much more open to, to joy and much more able to love anybody you want to be around with, be in love with, be around any love. Yeah, that one. Secondly, I'll put a link in the comments for this, a conversation with me, a complimentary chat about love and relationships. You can get clear what's in the way of what you want to shift and how you can get where you want to go. Check out both links, choose both links and change your paradigm. Do it now before the Christmas holidays, do it now before the new year and watch how 2020 becomes a whole new paradigm. It's possible and it starts inside. I think I've made my point clear enough. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook. So facebook.com slash, slash Barry Selby is my personal page where you can watch me live at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day of the week, seven days a week. Sometimes the time changes, but the days don't. And as I said before, this is the three-year anniversary of my first Facebook Live. So ta-da! Um, look on my wall earlier for the first broadcast. I reposted the link to that. It was a, an earlier, rather less, less slick, less slick, less professional broadcast. It's a bit better at it, bit better at it now after 300 of these. For, uh, sorry, three years of these. Um, secondly, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, the replays go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, although not all of them are there, unfortunately, but you can at least watch some of them. If you go to um, facebook.com slash author, you can like my page and watch them there, or better yet, go to YouTube. And better yet, I say it this way because on YouTube, I have all of my broadcasts visible, so you can find them all. So you go to youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine from the newest to oldest, they're all there. You can scan through for keywords, uh, whatever search terms you want to look for, find a talk that speaks to you, get the help you need, and uh, enjoy. <laughs> um, with that, I think that's about it. I've given you the links to check out. I've also given you the link, the uh, replays where you can find them, and I think that's a reminder. So for 2020, your homework <laughs> is do it differently than 2019. If you're not getting understanding in relationships, get the help you want. Reach out to me and get, and get some help. I'll give you some guidance right off the bat as my gift to you, as in the link below, as I mentioned. But whatever you do, be more, more certain about loving yourself first, attracting what you want, and saying no to what doesn't work. You have a gap navigation with that into 2020, you'll change your life, you'll change everything. And as I always say, or I have been saying for a long time now, as I always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.